What would you do if a venomous snake sank its fangs into your leg right now? Ouch! Panic, run, or make the one mistake that could cost you your life? Snake bites kill up to 138,000 people every year. And here's the twist. They don't just happen deep in jungles. It could be on your morning hike, under your porch, even in your own garden. But here's the real danger. Most deaths don't come from venom itself. They come from panic and doing the wrong thing. So how do you actually survive? Step one, stay calm. Venom spreads faster if your heart's racing. Think of your heartbeat as the venom's Uber ride. Don't give it the gas. Step two, keep the bite below heart level. Gravity slows the spread like a dam holding back a river. Step three, immobilize and bandage. Wrap firmly, but not tourniquet tight. The goal is to trap venom in place, not cut off blood. Step four, call for help fast. Help Anti-venom is the only real cure. Forget Hollywood myths. No cutting, no sucking, no whiskey. It's all nonsense. Step five, identify the snake if you can, safely. Don't chase it, but note the color, pattern, or snap a quick photo from a safe distance. Telling doctors which snake bit you can save critical time in choosing the right anti-venom. Here's the wild part. Snakes don't actually want to kill you. Most bites are defensive, not hunting. In fact, prevention is the ultimate survival skill. Watch your step, wear boots in tall grass, use a flashlight at night, and never stick your hand where you can't see. So now you know the truth. Would you survive a snake attack? Drop your answer in the comments, smash that like button if you learned something new, and subscribe for more wild survival secrets. Until next time, stay wild. Goodbye!